I'm having so much trouble eating ice cream while talking. Hey everybody, my name is Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. Surprise, surprise, I never do those. I'm going to be doing the ice cream book tag which was created by Super Space Chick and Alexa Loves Books. I'll link both of those channels down below. And I was tagged by the ladies over at Game of Tomes, so I will also link their video down below. And they had the brilliant idea of doing this tag while eating ice cream, so I'm going to do that as well. I have like a blueberry crumble flavored ice cream that I'm going to eat today, and it is melting <laughs> everywhere, so this is probably going to be a huge mess, um, but we're just going to go with it. You guys know how tags work. There's a bunch of ice cream related things, and then there's a bunch of book related questions, and then I'm going to answer those questions. I may or may not have only sort of planned ahead for this video, so <laughs> we're going to see what happens. So the first question is, Vanilla, a book you wish had more flavor, and for this I am going to go with After Alice by Gregory Maguire. I really, really enjoy Gregory Maguire books. like. He wrote the Wicked series, like the Wicked Years series, which is one of my favorite series of all time. And After Alice is his retelling of Alice in Wonderland, or it's like a sequel or an alternate, I don't know, whatever. I don't really know how to describe it, but it fell super flat for me. It was just really, really bland and really boring, and I was not into it. Question two, chocolate. A long book or an immersive world that you enjoyed indulging in. I'm going to go with the Sword of Truth books by Terry Goodkind. I love those books. I started reading those books when I was in eighth grade on a dare, actually. That's a funny story. I really loved them. Question three. Strawberry. A romance. A romance. <laughs> that was super sweet. And for this, I'm going to throw it way back to a young adult book that existed back when I was a teenager, before young adult books were really a thing. And that book is The Virginity Club by Kate Bryan. It's about as terrible as it sounds, honestly. It's about, like, these four girls who are friends and they're all competing to win this scholarship and one of the qualifications is that you have to have purity of mind and body. It has this really really cute romance in it actually that kind of comes out of nowhere and it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Ice Cream Sundae, a book encompassing all the elements you love. I don't know if there is any one book in the world that encompasses every element that I love, but there are two that exist that come Pretty close. Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Ooh, I love that book. I've talked about that book into the ground. It's just an emotional, crazy wild ride. Science fiction, but it doesn't feel like science fiction. Just character driven story. It's beautiful. I love it so much. And then I also think the next thing that comes the closest would be Midwitch Cuckoos by John Wyndham. It's a sci fi story with aliens and it's got horror elements, and it's got really great characters. It kept me on the edge of my seat. I loved it so much, so I think those two probably come the closest. Number five, Milkshake, a book that blends genres. Anytime I get a genre blending question, my answer will almost always be anything written by David Wong. He does a, just a really good job of combining humor with other genres and it's just so much fucking fun to read and to listen to and I love it and I will talk about it until I die probably. Number six, Sprinkles, a book with a colorful cover. For this I'm gonna go with Paper Girls by Brian K. Vaughan. The colors on the covers as well as in the actual pages of those those comics are just like they're so beautiful. Number seven, Ice Cream Cake, a book worthy of a celebration. For this, I am choosing another YA throwback to when I was a teenager, and that is Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. I love that book so much. I don't read a ton of YA, 
But that book just like got me from the moment I read it back in 2006 when it was released. Nora is high school me. She's just like a surly, sarcastic, tries to make it look like she cares less about people's opinions than she actually does. The whole book is just this like really cute, pure story of like the first date between Nick and Nora and all of the crazy shit that happens during that date. It's all set in a New York City like punk scene backdrop and it's just makes me want to like go to concerts and just have a good old time. And number eight, ice cream cookie sandwich or three scoops on a cone. <laughs> a book with multiple perspectives. One of my favorite multiple perspective books is The Love Machine by Jacqueline Suzanne. Uh, it is the story of three women who fall in love with the same man who is, um, for lack of a better word, really bad at relationships. <laughs> he won't make a commitment. He's kind of using all of them for th various things. And it's like a romance slash a guy finding himself story, but it's just, it's told from the perspectives of the women who love him. And I think that it's told very effectively that way. I'm not explaining anything well today, so like, I'm sorry, but you know, whatever. Waffle Cone, a book you felt compelled to read very quickly. For this, I'm going to go with The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. I read this book last year because I had heard Megan and Sue at the Restricted Section talk about it, and I loved it. It's a mental health story about a guy with schizophrenia, and I just think it's really beautifully written and beautifully told, and when I started reading it, I couldn't put it down. I think I read it in like I think it was like maybe a total of like three hours. I was, it was so good. If you guys haven't read that and you see it, you should definitely give it a read. It's just, it's wonderful. Number 10, Pint, a book you set aside, but plan on going back to later. I talked about this in my campfire tag, I believe. I think that's the one I talked about it in. That is The Tale of Genji by Lady Murasaki Shikibu. It's just so long and I tried to read it as a buddy read with some friends and it just didn't end up working out and I really want to read it but I just really feel like I need to commit to the process and I'm just not ready to do that right now so I've set it aside. The last series of questions here are just personal preferences regarding ice cream. So your preference, cup or cone? I love cones. I have a really hard time eating ice cream quickly but I love cones. Otherwise, there's an ice cream place around here, well, technically a custard place around here, that when you get the dish, they put like a little cone chunk in it, and I'm pretty into that as well. Favorite flavor? Ooh, either cookie dough or mint chocolate chip. Toppings, yes or no? If I'm just eating vanilla ice cream, absolutely toppings. I like hot fudge and bananas and whipped cream and sprinkles. <sighs> Favorite local ice creamery? It's the one I just talked about, actually. It's called Cops. And I serve frozen custard, which if you're not from Wisconsin, you might not be familiar <laughs> with what exactly that is, but it is a thicker, creamier version of ice cream. There's like egg yolk in it. It's so good, but Cops does regular chocolate and vanilla, and then they have a flavor of the day, and they do like some crazy shit with their flavors, and it's so good. Plus they have really good burgers, so like, all around going there is just a fabulous experience all the time. <laughs> and then best shared with friends, who do you tag? I'm gonna tag two channels in this. I'm gonna tag Abby at Abby Mac Reads, and then I'm going to tag Jordan at The Lost Reader, and I will link both of those channels down below. Sorry my brain is so scrambled today. I'm trying to eat melted ice cream and talk at the same time and generally be a functioning human being, and you know, that's just not going well for me. Have a great day, bye.